<laughs> Welcome to the Red Booth Show, and I'm here with Tony the Movie Guy, except there's a little problem about this week, right, Tony? Well, it's not a problem, there's just nothing really new out in the theatre. There's no you movies know? coming so, out. Um, but I'm still on your show, which yeah, I really so appreciate. I still put him on my show anyway, because he's like a movie encyclopedia. Yeah, well, so here's what they will say. Mission Impossible Fallout is kind of like the breakout summer movie. Uh, so I definitely recommend seeing that if you haven't. Um, but yeah, there's no new releases what in the theatre. What about Sharknado 6? Hello! Sharknado 6, yeah, well that comes out I think next week. No, it already came out. When did that come out? In uh, August 19th. Okay, see, I didn't know the exact date. Yeah. Well, I just saw Sharknado 5 like two weeks ago. Oh, I good. actually love those films. Up. Yeah. Well, you know what I would say? I watch like two movies every single day. I actually do a lot of other things as well because all my friends are like, you need to get out. And I, I do. I hike, I go out, I go sailing, I do all kinds of other stuff. Um, but there are so many classics out there. There are so many great movies. You know, even someone like me who watches movies all the time, I literally go through the, you know, the list of the 1,001 movies you have to see before you, you die. And there's probably about 100 there I haven't seen. You know what I mean? I'm always you really ticking them seen, off. really like everything. It's crazy. But you get so much out of them when you watch them over and over again. I watched John Wick again yesterday for the, the 20th time. You know, and what I love about that movie, you know what makes that movie so special? It's all for a dog. If they took the dog out, it would just be a kick-ass action movie. But because that one plot element's in it, it elevates it. You know, and then I saw Point Break for like the 50th time. Point Break is awesome. I, I watch movies over and over again. Truman Show, 10 Things I Hate About You. This is just in the last few days, you know? You're so dedicated, man. Well, that's if you guys you are bored that. and you're not sure what to watch, what there's nothing good on. What about white movies? Okay, good. So that's thank you for bringing that up. If you go it's before, if you go before the fifties, I'm not a buff in that. I'm trying to what? get there. I'm not. You know, I am the sixties onwards. Now, Singing in the Rain, I You're love. You're fired. You're so fired. Well, Gone with the Wind, I love. You know, uh, Wizard of Oz. There at Casablanca. There are definitely classics. But that is the area where I guess I'm the weakest. But don't worry, I've got the list. I'm going through it. But look back on the films of the 90s, the 80s, that's my favorite period, but, and before, and just look for something cool you haven't seen, what's considered a classic. Watch it again, I think you'll get a lot out of it. That would be what I'd recommend when there's kind of nothing new to check out in the theater, like this week. Love it. <laughs> Okay, cool. Well, thanks for being on the show anyways and telling us what to, what to check out. Yeah, thanks for having me. <laughs> Tony I, the I feel guy. like I was really helpful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see you next week. See you next time, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the Daphne's on the Red Booth Show. You can always catch us on Saturday nights on YouTube America all over the U.S. And if you want to come back and check out our channel on YouTube and get the latest interviews, you can just subscribe below.